Hey guys, Keely Reason here, owner of Love, Hope, Adventure, where I blog about the marriage relationship, intimacy, and marriage, and how you can go deeper with your spouse. Today, I'm talking about boudoir shoes, whether or not, you know, you should maybe try and get one, so a couple of tips, things like that. So, boudoir shoots are very much like piercings and tattoos and all these other things that have become a lot more mainstream, and there's a lot more available to you. So, if you are somebody who feels like it's not okay for me to look really sexy in front of other people, or maybe you're concerned about the way you look or whatever, there's a lot with boudoir shoots now where you can stay more covered and you can do things that are a little bit more in your comfort zone or with whatever you think. Um, and today I kind of want to ask a question, why would you want to get one? So what is the benefit of doing a boudoir shoot? So I would say one of the benefits for someone to get a boudoir shoot, and listen, guys that are watching, I'm sorry, but most boudoir photographers don't put men in the shoot. Some will do some couples, um, but most of them, they want to stay with women for boudoir shoots. So most of what I'm gonna share today is going to be for the females watching this video. So I think boudoir shoots can help a woman who doesn't feel very confident about her body to see herself in a different light. And I think there's a lot of pressure on all of us, both men and women, to look a certain way. And there's only one kind of sexy and there's only one person or one body type or one hair color or one eye, whatever, that's sexy. And if you don't fit into that, then you're not sexy. Or if other people are attractive or other people look amazing, you can't possibly look good because you don't look like them. And if you don't look like them, then you're not attractive in and of yourself. I think boudoir shoots allow you to see yourself in a different way from the lens and the perspective of a professional. It's somebody's job to like look at a situation and see and find the beauty in it. That's the really amazing thing about any photography session, whether you are doing something as revealing as a boudoir that has the purpose in mind to make you look attractive or if you're just doing a regular shoot where you're like going out with your family or something. I'm not suggesting that you go with a photographer that's going to do a lot of editing, that's going to make you look different than what you are or something like that. But I am saying that any photographer is going to look at the beauty in a situation. They're going to look at the lighting. They're going to see what it is and paint a different picture. And I think that a lot of people have the boudoir shoot for a level of confidence in and of themselves. Some people have a boudoir shoot so that they can give it to their spouse, maybe a wedding present, maybe their significant other, whatever. But those are like the two most common reasons, building confidence or as a gift. I have to drink coffee. Okay, um, so if you are somebody who's like been thinking about, should I have a boudoir shoot or not? Here's a few tips for you to choose a photographer, what to wear, and the whole experience. The first thing you need to do is find a photographer who shoots people in a light that you like. If you go to Instagram, you can find all kinds of boudoir you know, photographers in your area, or maybe just Googling it. And if every single picture of every one of those pages looks like very thin models, that might not be the right boudoir photographer for you if you were someone who is heavier or who has a lot of stretch marks or a lot of cottage cheese thighs. That kind of photographer probably is doing a lot of shoots with people who are of different body types, but they're not really promoting it. I recommend you go with a photographer who is posting real pictures of real people on their page, not just those that have the ideal body type. The reason I say that is number one, they are promoting and working with, you can tell, women of all different body shapes and sizes, but also their clientele feels confident enough to allow them to use the photographs from the shoot, which means that those women are feeling really good about their shoot and the photographers feel confident enough to share it. I think that if you look for somebody who is taking photographs of real people, you're going to be much happier with your shoot because you're going to look at all their images 
And when you get your images back, I think you're going to go, oh, look, this is what they were able to accomplish. It's a lot easier to take amazing photographs of somebody who has a, an amazing body, who doesn't have cellulite or whatever. Maybe they all have it and it's getting airbrushed out. But if you are seeing cellulite, if you are seeing stretch marks, if you're seeing people who don't have, um, you know, 3% body fat or something like that, then at least you know you're working with a photographer who knows how to work with different bodies and different people. Um, another tip that I have is like picking out the outfits. I really recommend that you pick out things that make you feel good. Don't think, well, everybody in a boudoir shoe wears this thing or that thing or has this kind of outfit or that kind of outfit. Look for something that makes you feel confident. Try it on ahead of time. Try it on a couple of times. If you are doing uh, a boudoir shoot and you have a husband or, or a spouse or whatever, talk with them. Ask them, what do you think about the way I look in this? Like, be objective here. And see yourself in the clothes ahead of time. Be comfortable with it. But also be realistic in expectations. If you have bought lingerie or you've bought something sexy in the past that didn't look good on your body type, but you see a bunch of other people in photos and they look okay, don't have unrealistic expectations. You should be looking for clothing that complements who you are, your personality, what you're trying to accomplish with your shoot, and what ultimately you're gonna feel comfortable in. If you are someone who you know, has never revealed any part of your body to anyone except for in private, you're probably not going to be okay with wearing clothes that are super, super revealing. There are lots and lots of boudoir shoots where women are wearing large oversized sweaters and hats. Don't think it has to be a certain way. Like I said, boudoir has become very um, mainstream now, which means it's more inclusive and there are more people who are doing this kind of thing uh, that that they are bringing in different types of clothing. So wear what makes you feel comfortable. The next thing that, as far as tips goes, is look for any kind of props that you like. Maybe it's something you've never tried before. If you're not a hat person, maybe consider, um, consider wearing a hat. Maybe you're the kind of person who uh, never wears heels. Buy heels just for the shoot, okay? That's fine. You, you don't even have to walk in them in your shoot. You can tell the photographer in your shoot, look, I bought these heels for this, but I'm not going to wear them, right? I'm just gonna put them on for the shoot and that's it. Maybe you're somebody who doesn't wear a belt and now you wanna add a belt. Whatever those props are, just kind of look for something that is maybe out of the ordinary for you that you've always thought about trying. It's okay to be a little creative in a photography shoot, even if it's not what you would normally do or wear. Just remember, this is just a still image of something you did for a couple of minutes and now it's done. And so you can look super cute or, or whatever in these things that wouldn't be very practical for you to do in normal life. And then I recommend um, tip wise that you just make it very clear to whoever you do the shoot with that you don't want them to highly edit your video, I mean your photos, if, if you don't want them to. I think that if you're seeing yourself in, in the best lighting, right, in, in the best circumstances, if you have cellulite, if you have stretch marks or whatever, I don't personally recommend that you have a photographer get rid of all of that and edit all that out, simply because that is how you look. I think that body acceptance is a big reason to have a boudoir shoot because you are going to see yourself in the best possible lighting, but don't be unrealistic because then when you look at yourself in the mirror after you look at yourself in the shoot and you're like, well, that the shoot, I don't have uh, stretch marks on my stomach in the shoot, but look in real life, I do. I don't think that it's helpful for you to create images of yourself that are unrealistic, but actually like taking photos of yourself that show you in a different perspective so that you can actually appreciate your body is very important and very helpful. So you can tell your photographer and the editor, don't edit, don't edit that much. If you're cropping it, if you're um, changing the lighting, great, but don't change the way my body looks in these photos. So those are a few tips. If you've thought about having a boudoir shoot, 
of things you can do um, and then you know kind of do these things and it'll help you be ready to have a shoot that you like that you can feel confident with thanks so much for joining me today be sure to sign up for my newsletter loveofadventure.com newsletter i'll send you a free copy of my sexy truth or dare and also uh, visit my website loveofadventure.com to see the other things i've been blogging about thanks so much guys i'll talk with you later